Oh, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Oh, let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, we say, oh, let it rise. Let the worship, let the worship of the Lord rise among us. Let the worship rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Somebody shout and say, Oh, oh, let it rise. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, we are the worshipers in the house tonight. Oh, Father, we exalt you, Jesus. Come on, God, we're here to lift you up. Hallelujah. There is none like you. Tonight, God, you're our strength. Like no other. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are my strength. Oh, yes, you are. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach us to me. Somebody lift your hands and say, You are my strength. Hey, God. Strength like no other. Like no other life. Strength like no other. Reach us to me. Reach us to me. You are my strength. You, you are my strength. Oh, strength like no other. Hey. Strength like no other reaches to me. Oh, praise the Lord. Come on, oh, praise the Lord. My God, hallelujah. Amen. You are my strength. Oh, yes, you are. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches to me. Somebody say, You are my strength. Oh, yes, you are. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Yes, to me, you are my peace, you are my peace, oh yes you are, peace like no other, peace like no other, oh reach yes, to me, you are my joy, you are my joy, yes you are. Joy like no other. Hey, joy like no other. Reaches to me. Reaches to me. Oh Lord, in the fullness of Your grace, in the power of Your name, You lift me up. You left me up in the fullness of your grace and the power 
to lift you up hallelujah praise God in the fullness thank you Jesus praise God we're gonna do a hymn tonight I we're looking at the song Jesus is coming soon and the signs are everywhere all around us if we just take the time to look the signs are everywhere you talk about the signs we've got them Everywhere. Men hard are feeling for fear. My God. The, the world is just crumbling. And I really believe that Jesus is coming soon. Songwriter penned it. He said, troublesome times are here. Filling men's hearts with fear. Freedom we all hold dear. And now is at stake. Sister. Humbling your heart to God saves from the chastening rod. Seek the way pilgrims trod. Christians awake. Amen. Praise God. We're going to sing that song like we really believe. Oh, We're in the closing days. Amen. Praise God. Troublesome times are here, filling men's hearts with fear. Freedom we all oh dear, now is at stake. Humbling your heart to God, save from the chasing rod. Seek the way him, bring strong, rest in the way. Oh, Jesus is coming soon. Morning or morning or night or noon. Many shall be there too. Trumpet shall sound. All of the dead shall rise. Righteous in the sky. Though we were no one time. Heaven was mine. Love of so many. Oh, 
from us there. Rising up in the sky, telling this earth for our time. Homeward reason will fly, glory to share. Jesus is coming from morning by night. Are you looking forward to his return with great anticipation let's worship him if we are so looking for his return hallelujah let's worship the lord hallelujah 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 i don't hear you worshiping him oh if you're really looking forward to his return let's worship him from the depths of our heart hallelujah jesus Oh, sweet Jesus, oh, what a wonder you are. Oh, there is none like you, none above you. You're all together lovely, the only wise God. Indeed, he's coming soon. Let us be ready waiting for his glorious return. Praise God. Praise God. Our right, prayer time. Could we please... Bow our heads, close our eyes in reverence to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, there is absolutely none like you. You are the one God and the mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. You are great and greatly to be praised. You are altogether lovely the only wise God. You are our Savior, our Lord, and our King. We salute you and welcome you this evening to this service. We are conscious of the fact that we are unworthy. So we stand here understanding that. And we ask that you would forgive us all our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 
that as we enter into this service, oh God, we'll enter with the understanding that of ourselves we can accomplish nothing miraculous, but only through you that we can, Lord Jesus, do so. And so, Lord Jesus, we're depending, oh God, on a move of your spirit this evening, oh God. Oh God, this evening, oh God, we are expecting, oh God, you to do what no other can do. Oh Jesus, we look to you, oh God, from whence cometh our help, and our help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe, oh God, that in this room here today, there are many who have various needs. But Lord, we know that you are well able to meet those needs. We pray, dear Jesus, for those who are sick, for those, Lord Jesus, who need salvation, for those, oh God, who need some other kind of deliverance. We pray in the name of Jesus that you would meet all the needs that are here this evening and perhaps tonight. Oh God, grant it, I pray. Oh God, there are those, Lord Jesus, who are bereaving over their loved ones who have passed on. We pray, oh God, that you would strengthen them and comfort them at this time. Oh God, there are those in the hospital. Oh God, sick, perhaps would love to be here tonight but not able to be here. We pray that, Lord Jesus, they'll have speedy and full recovery. We pray for those who may be on their way to this meeting this evening. We pray, dear Jesus, that you'll guide them here safely, oh God, and that nothing will hinder them from coming. Lord, we commit this service to you. Lord Jesus, we're just believing you, Lord, to take full control. Lord, help us to put self aside, oh God, and let you have your own way through your Holy Spirit within us. Oh God, Lord, all those who will minister from this podium, oh God, I pray that Lord Jesus, you will give them a very special anointing this evening. I pray, oh God, that the anointing will flow, oh God, through the pews. Oh God, for all those on the platform, oh God, and we'll all be ignited. Oh God. And Lord Jesus, give you the praise. Oh God, that is only due unto you. Oh God, help us to be on fire tonight. Oh God, in this place. Let your holy presence be felt in a very, very oh, tangible way. Oh God, bind the forces of darkness that would seek to hinder, oh God, the mighty moving of your spirit. Oh God, and that would want to hinder us from worshiping you the way we ought to worship you. Oh God, help us to give it our very best this evening. And I pray especially for the preacher. Oh God, that you would use him mightily for your honor and for your glory. Lord, we expect to hear from you this evening. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, what are we going to do? Oh, God, we need to hear from you. Oh, Jesus. And then, Lord, above all, convict, Lord, the unsaved that, would be, that may be in this in our audience today. Oh, God, convict them of sins, oh, God. And help that, Lord Jesus, they'll respond, oh, God, appropriately and quickly. Oh, God, Lord, we're just believing you, Lord. Oh, God, for a mighty move of your spirit here this evening. Thank you, Lord, for all that is being done right now and that will be done, oh, God, in a little while from now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's just lift our hands and thank him for hearing and answering our prayers. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us just continue to worship the Lord. Let's just continue to thank Him 
for what he's going to do tonight amen for what he has done already hallelujah and for what he's doing right now thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you lord for tabernacling with us tonight thank you jesus for your presence in your presence there's fullness of joy at your right hands there are pleasures forevermore in your presence lord there is liberty thank you lord god it's a liberty hall tonight thank you jesus come on somebody thank you jesus hallelujah you didn't have to do what you did but you did it anyhow thank you for the cross thank you for calvary thank you jesus amen i'm going to invite you to remain standing amen as it is time for the reading of god's word if you have your bibles with you it's it may be just on the screen it's isaiah chapter 55 amen and brother carm hill is going to come at this time to lead us with that portion of scripture praise the lord everybody praise god if you found it shout hallelujah. hallelujah isaiah 55 we're reading from verses 1 to 7 praise god ho oh, everyone that thirsted come ye to the waters and he that hath no money come ye buy and eat yea come buy wine and milk without money and without price praise god wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread and your labor for that which satisfieth not hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good and let your soul delight itself in fatness incline your ear and come unto me hear and your soul shall live and i will make an everlasting covenant with you even the sure mercies of david behold i have given him for a witness to the people a leader and commander to the people behold thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not and nations that knew not thee shall run into thee because of the lord thy god and for the holy one of israel for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon him. Praise the Lord everyone. Praise the Lord. Can we just clap our hands unto the Lord, everybody, everywhere? Amen. We're under the team tonight, igniting the Great Commission. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. I want you to keep clapping because the Lord, for the past few days, the Lord has filled 13 souls with the Holy Ghost. Clap your hands unto the Lord, everybody. God is still in the saving business. And four has been wonderfully baptized in no other name but the name of Jesus. Can we shout that name? After 212. Can we shout that name? Jesus. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Clap your hands unto the Lord, everybody. We serve a great big wonderful god amen praise the name of the lord you may be seated in the house of the lord sister desiree markey is going to come to do the welcome and the announcements let us praise the lord everybody we have been having a wonderful time amen everybody wonderful time wonderful time wonderful time in the lord so on behalf of our interim pastor minister george king and the missions team i just want to welcome all of you to our second to last night of our missions convention 
2018. Praise God. Igniting the Great Commission. Praise God, praise God. Wonderful time we have been having in the Lord. So I just want to welcome all of you here tonight. You're all special. Without you, we could not have had a missions convention. So we need to put our hands together and clap each and every one of us for coming out. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We want to welcome our visitors first. Is there anybody visiting with us tonight? Is there anyone visiting with us? You're coming for the very first time. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We want to welcome you. If you can go across to them and greet them warmly. That's what we do at Pentab. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We have been having with us our former pastor, Reverend Winston Stewart. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And we love Pastor Stewart, right? Amen. Praise God. We have been having we have, we have had Minister Paul Bailey. Praise God. Praise God. Pastor and Sister you Mikel. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And there are so many persons who have touched our lives throughout this week. We heard from Bishop Devon Dawson. Praise God. We heard from Pastor Robert Stewart. Praise God. We heard from Minister Paul Bailey. Praise God. We heard from Minister Richard Wallace. Praise God. And we heard from Dr. Lyndon Johnson. Praise God. And we heard from Pastor Victor Dows. What a wonderful time we have been having in our convention, 2018. Praise God. Praise God. I just want to encourage all of us to come on out tomorrow night. This is the last night of the feast of convention 2018. If you miss tomorrow night, I don't know what you're going to tell the Lord says. Amen. Praise God. So we begin at 6 p.m. with prayer in the sanctuary here at Pentab. And at 6.30 we begin our evening service. Amen. So come on out. Let us endeavor to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. The Lord Jesus bless you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Now I want you to just look on the person who is seated beside you. I want you to smile with them and tell them, it's good to have you in the house of the Lord today. Praise the name of the Lord. That's right. That's right. That's right. Shake their hands. Give them a warm smile. Hug them. Amen. Just give them a warm greeting in the name of the Lord. We're a happy people serving a great, big, wonderful God. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a wonderful privilege to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. As we ignite the Great Commission, we're believing the Lord today. Amen. To see souls. Anybody, you're believing the Lord today. Let me see your hands. Let me see those hands. You're believing the Lord today. You're expecting God to do a wonderful, great work. We're in the presence of the Lord, saints of God, and in the presence of the Lord, anything miraculous can happen. Do you believe that? Lift your hands to the Lord. Praise God. Brother Carlando is going to come to lead us in a time of a ministry of song. Amen. Continue to worship the Lord as he comes. Come on, bless the Lord with your hands. Come on, bless the Lord with your hands. Open him out and just bless his name. Hallelujah. Just give God the glory and give him the praise. Hallelujah. He deserves all the worship. God has been good. Praise God. And as I bless your heart with a song, I pray that you worship the king of all kings. Praise God. When I'm low in the spirit i cry lord lift me up for i want to go higher in thee for the lord know i can stay all the mountain Oh, and so 
so he picked out a valley for me. Everybody can identify. I said, when I'm low mm, in the spirit, I can Lord lift me up for I want you. Oh, I yeah, in thee. For the Lord, no, I can stay on the mountain. Hallelujah. So we picked out a valley for me. Was dark as mm. a dungeon. Yeah, he the sun said, Turn, whoa, 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 dark question. Now, Jesus, I said, Why must, must this be? Oh, Lord, I wish somebody could worship. Yeah, and he told me, There is joy, joy in my sorrow. Somebody needs to lift your hands and open your mouth. Whoa! And there's victory, victory, victory. Try it, try it for me. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody say, Jesus, please. Beside still waters. Anybody have that experience? Yes, I know I said, I said, somewhere. to somebody. I said it was dark as a dungeon in a Messiah. Hey, 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 hey. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. And a question. I've been there. I've been there. Why, 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 why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he told me Joy, joy in my sorrow. Oh Lord, hey God, hey God. Somebody said, Victory, oh, try it, victory, try it. Oh, me. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Jesus needs me beside still waters. Still waters. Oh, hallelujah, worship the Lord. Yes, I said, somewhere in the valley, the valley below. Yeah, and he drew me aside to be tested and tried in the valley. He restored. My soul, I need you, me, I need you, me. Oh, I need you, me. If I to be tested and try in the valley, I said, in the valley where the cool water. 
waters flow in the valley. Hallelujah. Where I feel my help in the valley. That's where I meet my Jesus in the valley. He restores my What a God! What a God! What a God! Glory, glory! I said He's the valley. Way down, way down, way down. He's the valley. Glory to God. He restores my soul. I love Him. I said I love Him. Come on and worship the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Before the praise team comes, I want you to just look back in your life and just, just I want you to think with me. Just roll back some curtains of memories of some valley-like situations that the Lord brought you to. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, just think about it. Think of the many times God delivered. Think of the many times God made a way when there was no way. Think about the many times you could have backslide. Think about the many times you thought about giving up, throwing in the towel. Think about those times. Hallelujah. And think of how the Lord just came in right on time and delivered you out of those valleys. And out of that thinking, I just want you to just lift your hands right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the valley, he restored my soul. It was when I was almost down and out. I saw the grace. I saw the mercy of God. Lift your hands and give him glory. Lift your hands and give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because in the valley, he restored my soul. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. In this atmosphere, I'm going to invite our ushers to come. It's a time of worship just the same. We're going to be giving unto the lord amen somebody amen 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 praise the name of the lord our praise team is going to come amen as they get themselves ready praise the name of the lord i want you to just, just bow your heads bow your heads in reverence we're going to be praying amen amen thank you jesus father in jesus name we thank you, Lord. In the valley, you restore it, our soul. want to thank you for who you are tonight. want to thank you for your love. want to thank you, Lord, for the many souls that are coming into your kingdom. Hallelujah. I want to thank you today, Lord, that we can give of our resources financially. We can give as unto your time we can give our energies lord jesus christ we give it as unto you cheerfully and we pray that you will bless abundantly and use for the furtherance of your kingdom here on earth in jesus name amen amen god bless you let us continue to worship as our praise team comes at this time we serve a great, big, wonderful God. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. Always victorious, always watching over us. A great, big, wonderful God. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. Always victorious, always watching over us. A great, big, wonderful God. Oh, we serve a great, big, wonderful 
Convention. Yes, Hallelujah. I see some persons still sitting down. Come on, let's stand to our feet and give God some hand clap in the sanctuary. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Come on. I know some of us are tired. I'm tired, but I'm still pressing. Amen. I'm still pressing. Amen. I am pressing. I am pressing. I am pressing my way. I'm on my way to glory. I am pressing my way. Oh, I am pressing. I am pressing. I am pressing my way. I'm on my way to glory. I am pressing my way. Oh, I am pressing. I am pressing. I am pressing my way. I am pressing, 
Could you just lift your hands and give him praise? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just here to share my testimony. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm a little bit nervous, brethren. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, when I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I have a testimony. Praise the name of Jesus. And I want to thank God for the testimony that I have. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, I just remember when I was standing here, I remember as a child growing up, praise the name of Jesus, I know nothing else but gambling. Praise the name of Jesus from primary school. Praise God. I know everything about the card park. Everything, you know, even the... Latry. I don't know if you know about Latry. They call it Japan. Praise the name of Jesus. Where this little man would drive him car and bring the number and they would write it on the wall in the communities. Praise the name of Jesus. And even at primary school, I used to save my money just to come home to gamble. I know everything. Even on a Sunday morning, I make case to do my work just because, you know, the family would sit on the veranda and all of us would just play card park. We'd play bingo. We'd just gamble the whole entire day. But I really want to give God thanks, you know, for changing all of that. Praise the name of Jesus. We serve an awesome God. Praise God. And I just want to say, brethren, that the God in whom we serve is a keeper, is a deliverer, is a sustainer, is more than enough. Praise the name of Jesus. And today I'm standing here and I remember, you know, growing up, praise the name of Jesus. People used to think I'm saved, but I never saved. I used to behave like I was a safe person, but I never saved. And I remember one day, you know, at the age of 18, when I get pregnant, this man saw me at the bus stop, and he was saying, but now Miss Mama's Christian daughter this. And I feel so ashamed because I knew I wasn't no Christian. Praise the name of Jesus. And he saw me with the pregnancy at age 18. Praise the name of Jesus. But today I'm saying God is a good God. Praise the name of Jesus. And I did not know that I had my life. There was a promise. I was a promise. I was a possibility. I did not know that at the time. Praise the name of Jesus. And when I come into this house, praise God. Bridging, listen to me. Let us cherish this place. Let us cherish this place. I didn't know that I could stand here today. But this house allow me to stand here to tell you that God is a good God. God is a good and great God. When I come through these doors, I have the biggest guard ring on my finger. The biggest guard ring fully loaded. Because guess what? I was searching for life. I was told that they were going to kill me. I was told that they were going to kill me just for the, the husband that I have. And I was told that they were going to kill me. So guess what? I want to look life. And I run to the wrong source. So I get a big, the biggest guard ring. But when I walk through these doors and I sit right there, I saw the choir. They look, when I step into this place, I thought it was foreign. I think I was... Overseas, I don't go overseas, you know, but I thought, me, I said, eh, eh, them people are pretty, eh? Me said, no, man, all them people are looks up on the choir. And when I hear the singing, me, I said, whoa. That's the first time I walk in, you know, and sit right there, but I was so troubled. I was so troubled in my spirit, in my mind, I was so troubled. I was so lost. 
praise the name of Jesus because I think I was seeking for life and seek life outside of Christ and there is no life outside of Christ life is in Jesus Christ and I'm telling somebody that there is no hope outside of God praise the name of Jesus I don't want to stay too long in a brethren but I'm telling somebody that come taste and see that the Lord is good I sat the day right there in that chair and I hear this song I rather have Jesus than silver and gold and the song goes on to say don't give me a mansion on top of the hill don't give me the world mighty God with a treasures I don't even remember the song but just give me a savior my life he can hold I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold and that song tears just start running from my eyes because I know where I went to look life and didn't know that life was in Christ Jesus praise the name of Jesus and I want to give God thanks tonight that I'm standing here to tell somebody there is no life outside of Christ praise the name of Jesus and today let me tell you something there is so much benefit in knowing Jesus so much benefit in knowing Jesus I have three children and not one of them come and gamble not one of them come and take up the, the card pack not one of them praise the name of Jesus and I said thank you Jesus for that blessing you know, I just want to give God thanks, Brendan, because all I know was gambling. Also, I could have drawn the less. I know everything about gambling. But here I am today, free, free. I have been set free. I have met a man, that man from Calvary. He took away my load, my heavy load of sin. And now I'm singing glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today I want to encourage somebody. Come taste and see. Come taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. It's mighty nice to be on the Lord's side. Amen. Amen. Can we just lift our hands to the Lord, everybody? Just thank the Lord for his saving grace. Thank you, Jesus. Our choir is going to come at this time, our combined choir. Amen. Let us continue to worship as they minister as unto the Lord.
presence, Lord. In your presence. In your presence. Is where. Is where. In your presence, Lord, is where we must be. Could we all stand tonight, everywhere, everybody? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands and just say something. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And in this atmosphere prepared by the Holy Ghost, I'd like to invite Minister Dwayne Nelson to come at this time and to preach the words of the Lord. Let's receive him by saying, Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! We want to begin just to lift up the name of the Lord. And Hallelujah. 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 Give an expression unto the Lord right now. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. He is great. Hallelujah. There is none like you. Come on, make a joyful noise. Make a joyful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to just shout a hallelujah? Ah, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're my rock, my sword, my shield. You want to just give an expression unto the Lord? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's give him everything, hallelujah. Tell him how much you love him, how much you adore him. It's my breath, my sunshine. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're my deliverer. In you, I have victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. Anybody love Jesus? Amen. You may be seated just for a while. Let me take time out to greet Pastor Pastor King and his wife, Sister King. I'd like to greet all the, the saints from the various churches. You, you know, one of the beautiful things that we're learning is the, the power of unity. When we come together as one, it, it causes things to happen. And you know that this convention is a collaborative effort amongst Faith Chapel, Pentab, and Pentab Nannyville, and Duane Park, and also the Potter's House. Amen. I'd like to greet Pastor and Sister Meetle and the Saints from Potter's House. Amen. like to also greet 
uh, Minister Dawes and his wife. I'd like to also greet all the saints from Faith Chapel, the deacons and the leaders here. Amen. And from Penta, I'd like to greet the board members. Amen. And all the saints from Penta and Nannyville and Dwayne Park. Put your hands together for yourself. Amen. Amen. A friend of mine is here. Amen. Brother Deron McCreet. And I'd like to greet him in the name of Jesus. He just want to just wave. Hallelujah. God bless you. And also enjoy the ministry of Pastor Stewart. He came by Faith Chapel this Sunday. And what a time we have with him in the name of Jesus. We give God thanks for leaders. Amen. Amen. We have to cherish these leaders. We also like to greet his wife, Sister Stewart, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, while I was on the choir loft and I heard Pastor Stewart declaring the word of the Lord, I just hear somebody just say, Yes! Yes! And then when I check it out, it was his wife giving him that support. Amen. That's what it's all about. Amen. So we give God thanks for Sister Stuart. Isn't the Lord wonderful? To give us so many blessings, undeserving. That's what we are. And that's who we are. I'm going to ask you just to stand with me. Amen. Amen. Pastor King, you want to just pray? Lord, thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. We need to hear from you tonight. Anoint the preacher. Let him speak to us from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, I ask you just to turn with me to two passages of Scripture. St. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And St. Matthew chapter 28. St. Matthew chapter 28, we'll be reading from verse 18 to 20. While you're finding it, I'd like to also greet Minister Paul Bailey. What a word that was given last night. We give God thanks for his, the ministry that the Lord has placed him. Amen. I greet you, sir, in the name of the Lord. Amen. I read in your hearing, St. Matthew chapter 16, and verse 18. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, I will. Somebody say, I will. I will, I will. I will. I will. And by the way, this was Jesus speaking. And if he said he's going to do something, you can count on it he says i will build my church hallelujah and the gates of hell shall not hallelujah prevail against it I will build my church upon the rock and the gates of hell shall not, cannot, will not prevail against it. Oh God, I'm so glad I'm a part of the church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just before I go to the other scripture, just begin to magnify God. I'm so glad. That I'm a part of the church. Because the gates of hell cannot, cannot, cannot. I feel victory. Oh God, hallelujah. Just give me just five seconds. I just feel I just magnifying God. Oh God. I feel victory. I feel victory. The gates of hell cannot prevail hallelujah 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 st matthew chapter 28 
verse 18 to 20 and Jesus came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth go ye therefore teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost and teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo i am with you always even unto the end of the world and somebody say amen, amen. you may be seated put your hands together for jesus we feel victory we feel victory oh god we feel victory we, we feel victory oh lord hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah I, I like to speak to us on the, the little topic of the thought it's time to go it's time to go it's it's time to go it's time to go it's time to go it's quite evident that we are living in the worst of times it's quite evident when a 14 year old girl can be attacked raped and then have her body being burned and dumped you know that we are living in the worst times when you can have a family member a family members in a house and individuals knowingly set the entire house on fire to destroy those family you know that the days are evil and dark when a young man can go into a church and shoot several people killing them you know the seriousness of the time that we are living in perilous times when you have students being possessed with devils and they have suicide tendency you know that the days are evil hallelujah hallelujah and i believe these are the worst of times hallelujah and not only that these are the last days second timothy chapter 3 from 1 to 5 said this know also that in the last days perilous time shall come hallelujah for men shall be lovers of their own self covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents and thankful unholy without natural affection choose makers false accusers incompetent fierce despisers of those that are good traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasures than lovers of god having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof we know that we are in the last and closing days hallelujah but in spite that these are the worst time i believe these are the best time yeah, hallelujah hallelujah crisis is just an opportunity for the manifestation of the sons of god crisis is just an opportunity for the power of god to be demonstrated hallelujah with all that is happening all the calamities all the disappointments with all the mayhem and, and it seems as if the force of darkness is winning the church i've got news for you the word of god said the gates of hell shall not it doesn't matter what is going on my god is still working oh god and no force of darkness can shake the church because the church is unstoppable i feel you jesus there's victory in the name of jesus and no gates of hell shall come against the church it doesn't matter the attack oh god if god said no weapon form against us no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper yes the weapon can be formed but it cannot prosper 
a peace victory in the house here oh god where i get my strength from is the word of god in this situation i can check the word and i'll get strength so go on while it is the worst of days it's the best of days the glory days of the church are not behind it's in front but one of the things though we have to understand who we are because having an understanding of who we are it causes us to walk in a particular manner that shows that there's a sense of purpose one of the things that the enemy wants to do is to let you lose your identity. You don't know who you are. And if he can get you losing your identity, hallelujah, he can stop you from fulfilling your purpose. So I want to tell us that I'm so glad I'm a part of the church. And when I speak of church, I'm not referring to a particular local assembly or a material building but more so the body of Christ the church is the body of Christ which he is the head uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 22 to 23 says and God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be the head over everything for the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills everything in every way so the body of christ is made up of believers in jesus christ hallelujah so we are the church hallelujah we are a part of the church hallelujah and i have to be very careful how i deal with you because if i ever touch a button without permission i'm in trouble with the head and who is the head the head is jesus hallelujah i don't know if you know how powerful you are in christ hallelujah and that you have the victory in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah i'm so glad that i'm a part of the church The church is not a plan B in the mind of God. The church was not merely instituted after the Jewish people rejected Christ. But rather it was a prophecy throughout the entire Old Testament. You see in Genesis chapter 22 verse 18 says, All nations were to be blessed by the seed of Abraham. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 10 says, The Gentile will seek the root of Jesse. And Isaiah 52 verse 15 says, Many nations will be sprinkled with the blood of the Messiah. Hallelujah. Zechariah 2 11 says that many nations will be joined to the Lord in that day. And Malachi 1 verse 11 says the name of the Lord will be great among the Gentiles so that the, the church wasn't just an afterthought it was something that God had planned long time ago hallelujah hallelujah I know you read the Bible hallelujah you know about Moses part in the Red Sea and you would desire that you want to be there but no 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 in this present time it's much greater than the time hallelujah in the Old Testament the church is the centerpiece of the kingdom of God the kingdom of God is much larger than the church because it includes more than the church it includes the whole universe all the angelic hosts and all the Old Testament saints however the New Testament church is the centerpiece hallelujah of God's kingdom and it's the most important part it is so important that Hebrews chapter 11 verse 40 says that God having provided some better things for us that they hallelujah the folks in the Old Testament without us hallelujah should not be made perfect so without us they can't be made 
perfect. Uh, that's how important the church is. Hallelujah. 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 If, if you don't have any money or don't have any car or don't have a house, hallelujah. Don't walk with your head down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your head because you're a part of the family of God uh, and you are guaranteed that no weapon that's form against you in these last days of my life I always say it hallelujah I don't know when I'm going to die hallelujah but I want to die in style and this is how I'm going to die in style every cell in my body every energy that I have every talent hallelujah every treasure hallelujah every gift things we're going to give it to Jesus oh God we're going to give it to him hallelujah we love you 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 i'm enjoying this salvation oh god because when i was doing the valley hallelujah and my self-esteem was low it was jesus who came and took me up hallelujah and let my life be worthwhile hallelujah hallelujah i can't step because jesus is with me Jesus said the prophet who gave these prophecies and even angels will love to participate in the things happening in our age. St. Matthew chapter 13 verse 16 to 17 says, But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Moses would love to see the royal priesthood. Isaiah would love to see, hallelujah, Pentecost because he prophesied that for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak and he said to whom he said this is the rest wherewith he may cause the weary to rest he would love to see Pentecost Joel would love to see being the upper room because he said and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy and your young old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall shall see vision the men of all hallelujah would have loved to get what we got oh god oh god oh god i feel valuable because i'm a part of the family of god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus everything is shaken will be shaken is already shaken but there's one thing that cannot be shaken and that's the church oh god oh god the church cannot be shaken you want to know why the lord says i will build my church who you think is going to build this thing it's no man no woman no boy or girl but he's our king of kings and our lord of lords and anything jesus built is well built you can't stop this you can't stop this you can't stop this you can't stop this oh god you can't stop the church oh god oh god oh lord i feel good i feel good you can't stop this can't stop this you can't stop this you can't stop this the church is built on a rock 
when you speak of a rock hallelujah you speak of stability something that can move not easily move hallelujah you talk about stability hallelujah hallelujah it's built on a rock and can i tell you something that rock is jesus oh glory oh god uh, if you want to bind the house or take over a city you have to first bind the strong man now if jesus is the head of the church who is it that is powerful to bind him who it is that is powerful to bind our jesus when he's the oh god almighty oh god oh god people send that threat at you people won't kill you hallelujah do what jesus do when the storm was raging he was in the bottom of the ship sleeping rest in the oh god in the arms of jesus oh god oh lord yes lord yes lord it's so good to be a part of the church it's so good to be a part of the church it's so good to repent of your sin baptize in jesus name and receive the gift of the holy ghost if you ever do that you become a part of the church and you have jesus as your head and therefore no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon hallelujah oh god sometimes they need to open up your bible man and start to read some things in the atmosphere man hallelujah don't you know that the word of god is a sword of spirit hallelujah how you think you fight open up your mouth and quote some scriptures hallelujah and send it in the atmosphere So here it is in the text. The Lord saying that the gates, we need to look at that a little bit. What does it mean, the gates? Because in order to understand what the Bible is saying and what Jesus wants to convey, we have to check their culture and look what gates really represent. So besides the gates being a part of a city protection against invaders, the city gates were a place of central activity in biblical time. Note that. The city gates were a place of central activity in biblical times. It was at the city gates that important business transactions were made. The courts were convened. Public announcements were heralded. Hallelujah. The first mention of a city gate was found in Genesis chapter 19 verse 1. And it was at the gate of Sodom that Abraham's nephew Lot greeted the angelic visitors to the city. And Lot was there with other leading men of the city. Hallelujah. Either discussing the day's issue or engaging in important uh, civic business. Hallelujah. In the law of Moses, parents of rebellious son were told to bring him bring him to the city gate hallelujah where the elders will examine the evidence and pass judgment hallelujah so this confirmed that the city gate was central to community action hallelujah 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 important stuff was done at the city gate hallelujah thank you lord another important example hallelujah was found in the book of Ruth. Ruth chapter 4 from verse 1 to 11 where Boaz officially claimed the position of kingsman redeemer by meeting with the city elders at the gate of Bethlehem and there the legal matters related to his marriage to Ruth were settled it was at the city gate important business transaction was done hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As Israel combated the Philistines, hallelujah, the priest Eli waited at the city gate for news regarding the ark and to hear how his son feared in the battle. When King David ruled Israel, he stood before his troops, giving instruction from the city gate. And after his son Absalom died, David mourned, but eventually he returned to the city gate along with his people. The king's appearance at the gate signal that the morning was over and the king was once again attending to business of governing so at the gate important business transaction was done hallelujah hallelujah so to control the gates of one enemy was to conquer their city if you can control the gate hallelujah you can conquer the city oh glory oh glory so when Jesus promised that his church, he said the gates of hell will not overcome it. So therefore the gate was placed where rulers met and counsel was given. But Jesus was saying that all the plans, all the devices, all the all the board meetings that the devil is setting up hallelujah himself cannot defeat the church hallelujah it doesn't matter what he's doing he cannot defeat the church hallelujah we are the victory we have the victory hallelujah so number one jesus built the church number two he assured us hallelujah that the gates no device can come against the church with that in mind what we need to do there is a world that is dying that only those who have jesus on the inside can make any lasting impact what we should do Hallelujah. It's time now, apostolic Pentecostal, to get up and go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get up and go. There's enough power that is in you. Hallelujah. To defeat any attack. There's enough power. There's enough power. There's enough power. Hallelujah. The Azusa Street Revival was good. Hallelujah. The Welsh revival was good. Hallelujah. The apostolic revival was good. But this is the last days. You know, in race, when you run a race, a relay, there's four persons. You have the starter, the one who in the, the second, the third, and you have the anchor leg. Hallelujah. Then put the first one, the good one, to start. Hallelujah. But they put the best one to anchor. Oh, glory. Oh glory. If these are the last and closing days, hallelujah. It seems to me that we are the one who's going to anchor this thing. So there's going to be a great revival. I don't know it. I don't know. Hallelujah. But I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Hallelujah. The prophet sent out his servant and said, Go look to see if anything was happening. Hallelujah. When he went up and looked, he didn't see anything the prophet says go back again go and look and six times go and look but when he went the seventh time and he looked he said he see a cloud like a man's face and he said all right that's enough sign it may not be big but i see a cloud i see a cloud i see a cloud like a man's face hallelujah and anytime now the terrain is going to fall hallelujah i feel victory I feel victory any moment now there's going to be a revival this one is going to make Azusa Street look like nothing oh God I wonder if there's any believer here I wonder if there's any believer it's time to go it's time to go it's time to go fishing it's time to go fishing the world need us hallelujah they are waiting to see for the manifestation of the sons of god they need to see god demonstrating will you all stand it's time to go 
It's time to go. 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 Hallelujah. It's time to go. It's time to go. Hallelujah. There's much power in you that God has given you to win the loss at any cost. It's time. It's time. Lift your hands. It's time. It's time. Lift your hands. It's time. It's time. It's time. Hallelujah. When this revival drop, not only souls will be saved. Hallelujah. Family will be restored. Hallelujah. Healing will occur. Miracles. Hallelujah. There will be a wind. Hallelujah. Sweeping. Hallelujah. 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 I feel it. I feel it. Hallelujah. And I'm believing it. Hallelujah. That just before the rapture come, I believe. Hallelujah. There's going to be a Holy Ghost win. Hallelujah. There's going to be a revival that is occurring. Hallelujah. But you have to play your part. Hallelujah. It's time now to stir up the gift that is in you. I feel to Jesus. Hallelujah. You have so many gifts on the inside. A gift of prophecy and healing. You have it on the inside. Hallelujah. It's time to stir up. Oh God. Touch your neighbor. Hallelujah. Oh God. God, if they are Christian, I say it's time now to stir up the gift that is in you. Hallelujah. This gift will benefit persons. Oh God, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Somebody say it's time now. Hallelujah. It's time now. It's time now. It's time to give over yourself. Hallelujah. Where God can use you like never before. Hallelujah. You have the power. It's time. It's time. Hallelujah. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time to go. It's time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time. Hallelujah. Begin to shout it in the atmosphere. It's time now. It's time now. It's time now for the world to see the manifestation of the sons of God. It's time. I would like to ask all the men of God in the building to come and stand over this side. All the women of God to come and stand over this side. All those who are consumed with the Great Commission, consumed, burning. All the men of God, all the women of God over this side. All the men of God, all the women of God over this side. Praise God. And if you just face the balcony, please just face the balcony. Praise God. Face the balcony, face the balcony. Folks, turn around and face the balcony. Amen. Praise God. All right. Now here's what I'd like you to do. I'm going to ask the, the singers to sing just as I am without one plea. And there are people in this building who need to be converted, who need to repent of their sins, who need to be baptized in Jesus' name. I would like you to welcome them as they come to the altar and begin the process of sharing with them. How, what do I do having come? Help them to pray that prayer of repentance. 
Let me see all those who need the Lord. You've never committed your life to Jesus. You've never repented of your sins. You've never been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have never received the Holy Ghost. <laughs> those in your seats, I did not ask you to face the balcony. I asked those who came up front. So you can turn around. Can you extend your hand out to everybody who needs to come? Anybody needs to come and pray? Just stretch your hand out. Yes. Praise God. Maybe you, maybe you feel urged to go to them and invite them and walk with them to the altar. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God for this lady. Amen. Anybody else who need the Lord? Come. Thank God for this lady who's come. Anybody else? Anybody else? Hallelujah. Thank God for this lady. Is there a gentleman in the house? Is there a man who is not saved? Never repented of your sins? Never been baptized in the name of Jesus? Never been filled with the Holy Ghost? There is room for you. Praise the Lord. There is room for you. 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 Praise God. Thank God. Let's thank the Lord for these three ladies who have come. No, brothers, we don't have any man here who. Oh, there's one gentleman here. Yes, thank the Lord. Can we come together now? Turn our faces this way now. Amen. Fill up the all these empty spaces. Come. Amen. Come, ladies. Come off the wall. Thank you, Lord. Come, come. We got to organize. Yes, come. 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 Thank God for this gentleman. Yes. Hallelujah. Can we just begin to worship everybody? I don't have to coach you how to worship. You know how. Choir members, can you stand please? Let's lift our hands and worship everybody.
of the Lord, great intensity of prayer and participation. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Stretching our hands up. I know we've been doing this for several times. And physically, we may be tired, but take it as far as it will go. But let our hearts be Expressive to God. Yes, that's the Lord touching you. Wonderful presence of the Lord. Those hallelujahs, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Rejoice, my mind. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we worship you, Lord. You're blessed with me, oh God. You're wonderful. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Just wanted to let you know that one, one person, one lady over here who came here with her daughter tonight she was refilled restored amen in the name of the lord hallelujah 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 yes yes Yes. Yes. 
Jesus, 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 hallelujah, 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 oh God, we're going to try, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, amen, maybe F is okay, hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to sing the chorus, bless the Lord, Oh my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul and all that is within me.
worship the Lord and bless his wonderful name. Wonderful Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. from the Lord. Let's try that. Come up, come up, come up. Come up, church, as Mr. Fryer used to say.
Hallelujah. happened here tonight the preaching of the word the participation in the worship the response of ladies and a gentleman to the altar and uh, what has happened in the lives of those who have prayed and we're just taking the day to their names and addresses telephone numbers email addresses so that we can do what we need to do follow up amen 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 let's stand everybody we're good together we're going to sing this song all hail the power of Jesus' name. The angels prostrate fall. GRF is fine. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. That where be the anthem in heaven. All hail the power of Jesus. Voices, everybody. Come up here, Benji. Come, come. Come up here. Every service must end at a very powerful note. It shouldn't just fizzle out. All hail. Ready, everybody. Let's go. After four, three, four. All hail.
Lord.